welcome back to another video um, as you can see I'm in sunny Dubai I hope we're here for about five or six days so thought I'd do another one of them videos where I show you how much passive income made during the time that I'm here when I'm not actually doing anything now although we did have access to the internet and we did have good Wi-Fi in the hotel um, we packed that much into the five days that we were there um, I didn't really have time to even look at my phone never mind check emails or do any work. So all of the income that I'm going to reveal is actually passive income and it's money that hit my accounts such as PayPal, Stripe, um, my business account. I'm only going to show the money that I received during these five days in which we were in Dubai. Now, as you probably already know, Dubai is not a cheap place to go. Um, everything is quite expensive. This pint of Guinness cost me £10. Um, we ate out every night at nice restaurants. Um, the food is amazing, but again, it's not cheap. We also went on a number of trips. We did Atlantis, the water park. We went into the desert. Um, we went up the Burj Khalifa. We also did Expo 2020 and also took the kids to Legoland. So all in all, it was a fantastic week. We had a brilliant time and spent a lot of money, but hopefully when I go through my passive income, um, we haven't done too much damage in terms of spend during the five days. Now, I'm certainly not doing this to show off or gloat or anything like that. Um, if you're regular to this channel, you'll know that it's all about building passive income and property investing and other such things like that. So I feel that being transparent when it comes to your income um, goes a long way to building not only trust, but actually building a good rapport with um, my subscribers and I know that being a subscriber to other channels myself I am interested in what other people or the business owners or the entrepreneurs are doing and earning because not only does it give me a good perspective of what others are doing it also helps me to learn it helps me to set goals and achieve things that I probably otherwise wouldn't be able to achieve if I didn't see other people doing it so again I'm not doing this to show off to be honest I'm not particularly impressed with my income during this time. I don't think it's anything to shout about, but I do think that coming across as transparent when it comes to money, um, it does make it more interesting. It does give a better connection and I hope that you can learn something from this and take something from it and see that ordinary people like myself can actually achieve things if you put your mind to it. I'm not only going to show you my income, I'm also going to explain what you can learn from this video and how you can take this information and actually use it to your own advantage and i'm going to discuss how you can start to build these passive income streams which i currently use so hopefully this video will be beneficial to you um please at any point during the video if you want to hit that like button it'll be greatly appreciated as it will be the help a small channel like mine to grow okay so let's get on to the important stuff so now i'm back in england i'm going to go through my PayPal account, Stripe account, my business account, and also my property account. Um, I think that's everything. If I think of something else, I'll also put that in there. So let's start off with property. Now, as I was only there for five or six days, um, although I have six buy to let properties, I only actually received um, a rental income from one of them, and that was for £490. Unfortunately, um, the payment dates for the other properties fall at the beginning of the month or the end of the month and as I was there during the middle of the month I only had to receive one payment so we'll put down property as £490. Next up I'm going to log into my PayPal account and search the dates that I was away and we'll see how much we made on that. So I was away on February the 19th and we arrived back on the Friday the 25th so we'll see how much we made there. So as you can see from my PayPal account um, in the report section, the total sales for this six day period was £4,160 and there were 191 transactions. Now again, it's not 100% profit and I will go through this at the end of the video. Um, but as you can see, the number of sales, the revenue was £4,160 just in my PayPal account. So now I'm going to log into my Stripe account. Again, this is just another payment processor and a way of 
um, customers being able to pay you through their own credit cards and it makes life a lot easier when we use third-party merchant accounts such as PayPal and Stripe to receive payments so I've logged into my Stripe account as you can see um, I'll select the date range again which was the 19th of Feb to the 25th of Feb and we can see the sales um, the gross volume was 925 pound and the net sales was 840 now there is a slight difference in the sales because Stripe do take a small percentage from each transaction. So we'll put this down as £840 because that's a net amount that I've received. So the next account I'm going to check is my ClickBank account. Now the thing with ClickBank, the earnings are in US dollars so I'll have to convert it. Now as you can see, um, starting here on February the 19th, uh, we have $69, then 33 122 um, 58, 180, 120 and 65 dollars on the final day. Now this adds up to, let me get my calculator out, 647 dollars. I convert this into sterling which is around 497 pounds and although my Clickbank earnings haven't been as good as they used to be, it's still not too shabby for the five day period. I also received a payment of £734 from one of my affiliate sources but unfortunately I received that payment on the 18th which was the day before we went so unfortunately I can't include it in this total which is a shame because that would have um, boosted it quite a bit more but I do want to stick with the five days that I was away so um, I won't be putting in the £734 which I received from that affiliate company. I do also probably have some um, income from dividends from the stocks and shares but I won't go into that because um, the amount's probably minimal and it won't have much effect to be honest. Um, there's also income from YouTube now that my channel is monetized but I think my earnings for those five days was something like £21. So earnings are earnings, I will add them although it's nothing to shout about at this stage. Hopefully. Um, my channel will continue to grow and I can report that my YouTube earnings and that will add to my passive income streams which was one of the intentions of starting this channel. So my total income during these five days whilst I was away adds up to a nice round figure of £6,000. Well, it was just over £6,008. Now as I mentioned at the start, this isn't all profit. I am trying to be transparent here. Um, there are costs and other things involved. So I estimate that my overall profit is around 75% of this amount, which gives me 4,200 pounds. Now, if you're wondering how much the holiday cost, um, it was about 4,200 pounds. So the fact that we're able to go away and still earn the amount of money that we've actually spent while we're there um, is a good feeling. It does allow us to have um, nice holidays and does allow us to go away more. And it also gives you that safety blanket, so to say, whereas you know that you've got multiple streams of income coming in. So if one was to fail or decline, then you also have other ones backing it up. Whereas a lot of people these days rely on just one source of income, i.e. Um, a job or their one single business or whatever it may be. But if that single income is taken away, then this is when a lot of people, a lot of families um, struggle because they have no backup, they have no other form of income to supply their lifestyle. Anyway, that is a completely different video altogether. Now, I'm going to go on to the points where you're probably most interested in, and that is uh, my advice on what you can do to actually achieve these passive income streams and the things that I've done to allow me to build up um, different income streams which allow me to earn a half decent living as I've just showed you from my um, business accounts, PayPal, Stripe, etc. So the first thing I'm going to mention and one of the most important things that I tell everybody is start to acquire assets. If you want to build your wealth or produce income generating streams then building assets is absolutely vital to your success. Now when I talk about assets, I'm talking about things like property, um, obviously I've done a lot of videos about property and rental income. Um, other assets are small businesses, small business ventures, things that bring in income on an automatic basis. Um, there's also things like stocks and shares, investing in other companies. So your mindset should be to 
keep acquiring assets. Now I can't fully get across the importance of doing this. Um, I am going to be making another video all about generating assets, but one of the best pieces of advice that I can give to start building your own passive income streams and securing your future is to just acquire assets. And property is certainly one of the best assets that you will ever buy. Now, other things that I would recommend, now you've probably seen my Stripe account and PayPal account with so many thousands of pounds income during this five days. Um, this is mostly down to subscription services, online digital products, things that sell themselves or repeat the payments themselves. So if you can offer some sort of solution to a problem or if you have knowledge or information on something, it could be anything, it could be how to get an A level, it's, I don't know, cooking, how to um, swing a golf club, maybe you're into fitness and you can teach people how to get better abs, I don't know, but whatever it may be, Everybody has an interest, everybody has knowledge up here that they can give and actually charge money for. So if you can set up a number of income streams where you're selling information, which information doesn't cost anything, it only takes up time, then you can start to build passive income streams. Now if you can build a subscription based service, then obviously your income is going to repeat month after month. And subscription services are one of the main things that I focus on in terms of building income. Now this is how I got started out in online business uh, many, many years ago. Now I'm going to be transitioning everything that I've learned, all the knowledge that I've gained, over to a completely different industry, which is what I'm building here with my YouTube channel, with um, property and mentoring and teaching people how to succeed online, how to build assets, how to be property investors. So we do have a very exciting few months coming up because I'm going to be releasing new things. I'm going to be um, releasing my new website. I'm going to be teaching people how to build their own businesses. Um, so yeah, there's a lot going on and I'm definitely excited and looking forward to the next 12 months. And um, hopefully during that time, my YouTube channel will also grow quite significantly. And as I mentioned before, that'll become another income stream for me. If there's one thing that I've learned over the years is it's always best to diversify as much as possible. And with that, I mean build completely different income streams in different industries, doing different things because nothing is stable, nothing is guaranteed. So you might wake up one day and your main source of income is depleted. Now imagine how you would feel if you lost your job or you lost your main source of income. It would definitely hit you hard and you probably wouldn't be able to substitute that income immediately. Whereas if you have multiple streams of income, then you always have something to fall back on. You always have a safety net. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope I haven't babbled on too much and I hope that you have taken something from me being transparent and actually showing you my passive income during the five days that I was away. And hopefully you can learn something from this and go on to build your own assets and start your own passive income streams. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please hit the subscribe button because I'll be doing tons and tons of videos teaching you how to do all this and also publishing my journey as I go along and I build my own wealth and my own property empire and businesses and all of that. So hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you soon.